but I cannot be the only one who feels like somebody is pranking me with all of this news and just everything that's went on in 2023. Ed Ogeron is playing NCAA 14 in real life. You can't make this stuff up. He's trying to take over the worst team in college football and turn him into a championship contender. Six months ago? No, wait a minute, wait a minute, scratch that. It doesn't even gotta be six months ago. Four months ago, if you would've told me that DJ Ubadugi got drafted and also Ed Ogeron, former head coach at LSU, he's attempted to come back to college football. If you would've told me that, I would've looked at you and said, do what? What are you talking about? I'm asking you guys a genuine question. What's crazier, DJ Ugbaduki getting drafted or Ed Ogeron attempting to come back to college football? I don't know. But the truth of the matter is, both of those things, they're currently ongoing. Now, I know some of you probably have no idea what's going on, and I'm going to inform you, by the way, we're not doing no intro, none of that. We're getting straight into things. If you like the content, it's simple. Consider joining our amazing community. We'd love to have you here. If you don't want to subscribe, well, it's not really a big deal. That's cool, too. But DJ Uyungle, the quarterback who claims in, who's been terrible, and I've been ragging on this dude for two years, been trying to tell people he's overrated. Now, people are finally seeing the light. He got drafted, but not what you're thinking, not to the NFL. He got drafted yesterday, or was it two days ago yesterday? The point is, recently, he got drafted to the MLB. Yep, that's right, you heard me correctly. Oogaba Doogie got drafted by an MLB team in the 20th round. That's uh, pretty interesting. You don't see that every day, and I had so many of you guys send this to me, and yeah, it's pretty cool to see as well. And I had a lot of people saying, yo, Matt, don't you think he should take this opportunity? And no, do y'all not understand? Getting drafted in the 20th round of the MLB draft? That's like they're going to give him a couple of hot dogs and some peanuts for his salary. Y'all are crazy to even think for a second he'd take up on that opportunity. Now, if he got drafted in the first or second or maybe possibly third round, that's a different conversation. But the 20th round, no, nah, they're just going to give him a couple of glizzies and call it a day. I did want to start out by sharing that with y'all because a lot of people wanted me to speak on that. And I really don't have too much more to say, but here's the last thing I'm going to show you. Apparently and allegedly... Uli Ungale is slightly interested in pursuing baseball. That's according to the sources, so do what you want with that information. Here's what I'm going to say. If things don't work out at Oregon State, and I'm wishing the best of luck and hope it does, but if it doesn't work out, he could play in the MLB. So let me know your thoughts on that. I'm really curious. The other topic we need to get into, and the main encore, the main topic, the last topic of this video is, uh, how do I ease into this? I don't know. Ed Ogeron. What about Ed Ogeron, though? Well, you know how all that stuff's been going on with Northwestern? Ed Ogeron, he sees the downfall and he's like, you know what? I'm going to go in there and I'm going to change the culture and I can fix it. According to the sources and reports, Ed Ogeron would quote unquote, have interest in the Northwestern head coaching position. Here was my first thought when I saw this. Okay, yeah, Ed Ogeron may be interested in Northwestern, but is Northwestern interested in him? It's like, hey man, I'm interested in myself in being the head coach of Alabama, but it's not a mutual interest. They're not interested in Matt B. Great. And the reason I bring that up is, is because normally when these rumors come out, it's stated that the team, they have interest and so does the coach they're trying to hire. They have interest as well. It's mutual. But in this case and scenario, not that I've seen, there hasn't been anything stated that Northwestern is actually interested in Ed Ogeron. It's just Ed Ogeron interested in Northwestern. That's all we know up until this point, but let's just say for the sake of this video, Northwestern is interested. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I could not see Ed freaking Ogeron coaching Northwestern. I couldn't see it. That's like something out of a high school movie. That is a terrible fit. You're talking about a hard-nosed southeastern LSU guy going up to the Big Ten where it's freezing and those kids... They're soft as Winnie Hutt Juniors. And let me clarify on me calling them soft. For example, at LSU, Ed Ogeron, they are a football-heavy state. All they care about football, and it's football 24-7, football, football, football. You get the point. Despite what you think about Ed Ogeron and his coaching abilities, he was a good fit for the LSU culture. Here's where I'm trying to go with this. Ed Ogeron, he doesn't fit the Northwestern culture. At LSU, he walks into those practices, cussing up a storm, screaming, ah, bah, 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 let's go, man, let's go Tigers. At Northwestern, you can't do that crap. It's just two different brands of football. You can't coach Northwestern kids like you're going to coach Alabama, LSU, or Florida, or Georgia kids. Ed Ogeron walks in there and starts speaking that gibberish, jabberish crap. They look at him like he's crazy. And by the way, we didn't even talk about this. Could they even understand them? I don't think so. I myself, from the Southeast, born and raised, 
Even I have a hard time understanding Ed Ogeron at times. And this is what I'm talking about right here. This is a great example. Somebody said, or Drew said on Twitter, but yes, please make this higher. Coach O going into rich blank Ivy League type households trying to recruit kids would be a must see. And that's what I'm talking about. The LSU football players and culture is so different from Northwestern kids. LSU players are hard nosed, got it out the mud. They have that Southeastern mentality. If you're from the Southeast, you know what I'm talking about. Hard nosed players, you can coach them, you can yell at them, and it's not going to phase them. Whereas with these Northwestern kids, no, you can't do that. Continuing with this trend, let's just say for the sake of this video, Northwestern, they're interested, and let's just say they hire him. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I would probably tune into some Northwestern games just to see how Coach O is doing. He's such a character, and going back to this, it'd be a weird fit. It's almost like must-see TV. It'd be so cringy and so weird that you gotta tune into it just to see what in the crap's going on. For example, have you ever seen a show so bad where it's so, so and I'm talking about so bad, that you can't stop watching it, you tune in just because how terrible it is. I hope that makes sense. That's how it'd be with Coach Ed Ogeron at Northwestern. But also at the same time, maybe Northwestern needs a head coach like Ed Ogeron just to kick their butts into shape. Can Ed Ogeron actually coach college football? Probably not. There's only one thing he's good at, and that is screaming and being a motivational speaker, but that's also a big part of being a head coach. I don't know what's going on, man. We got Titanic submarines blowing up. We got DJ Ugabadu getting drafted, not for football, but to the major leagues in baseball. We got Ed Ogeron trying to go to pretty much a private school and be a head coach. Are we in the multiverse? What is going on? Let me know in the comment section, but I cannot be the only one who feels like somebody is pranking me with all of this news and just everything that's went on in 2023. We gotta be living in assimilation, man. This reminds me of NCAA 13 or 14. How in the crap are we to the point in this dynasty mode that Ed Ogeron's about to take over a 1-11 Northwestern team? It's so similar to NCAA 14. I'd always try to take over the worst team in college football and build them into a national championship empire. And to be honest, I just feel like Ed Ogeron's bored at this point. He's got all the money in the world. I think LSU paid him $15 million just to quit. I guarantee you, I promise this, Ed Ogeron was just watching TV and he's like, dang, that head coach got fired. You know what? Yeah, they did go 1-11. They do need a new head coach. I've coached before. Why don't I just try to take over that job and see what I can do? I promise you that was his thought process because that'd be my thought process if I was in his shoes. Ed Ogeron is playing NCAA 14 in real life. You can't make this stuff up. He's trying to take over the worst team in college football and turn him into a championship contender. And you want to know something, ladies and gentlemen? Call me crazy, but... I'm all here for it. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 Editing Matt in the building. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Breaking news came out right before, actually, right when I was editing this video. It's being stated that there's, quote, unquote, no truth to Coach O having interest in the Northwestern job, per reports. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, do you want that information? All this is just coming out. Look, man, I don't know what to believe at this point. What's real, what isn't? Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think Coach O is interested in the job, or do you think he isn't? Do you think some reporters were just making this up because it's the middle of the summer and they need something to talk about, or how do you feel about it? Now that I think about it, I do have a hard time believing that Coach O actually is interested in this job, but I don't know. Maybe he is. And even if he is, how would some of these sources and reporters know? I, I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts down below. Low-key, more so of high Key. This is probably just some nerds, beat writers, people that write all these articles or whatnot. They just want some clicks and views. And just like with everything in this life, it is what it is. Let me know that down below about that.